All right, so a couple things you guys need to know about this, Courtney. When you have sine of negative t equals 3 eighths, and they say, what is actually sine of t? So if the sine of negative t equals 3 eighths, we need to know what is our even and odd trigonometric identity say. Well, they say that if I have the sine of negative t, that's equivalent to negative my sine of t. And that's actually the same thing for cosecant. If I have cosecant of negative t, that's the same thing as a negative cosecant of t. So this one's fairly you know, simple. If I have uh, negative, so if sine of negative t equals 3 eighths, then just the regular sine is just going to be a negative 3 eighths. Now, remember cosecant though. How is cosecant and sine related? One thing you guys need to remember is sine of t is the same thing as 1 over, I'm sorry, Promising. Cosecant of t is the same thing as 1 over sine of t. So therefore, if I have this, I really what I have is, um, if I'm looking for the cosecant, I'm going to have 1 over 3 eighths. Well, I'm going to have to here multiply by my reciprocal, and what I'll have is that cancels the 1, I'm left with an 8 thirds. So again, the cosecant, if I have a cosecant is a negative t, which this one is, then I'm going to have a negative cosecant t. So this one is just going to leave me as a negative 8 thirds. So there's just your three trig identity or your um, your even and odd identities that you guys have to know for those.